Hey, welcome to 5AM Master Scrum. Um, here's a, another interview with a Scrum Master from New Zealand, Edwin Wolfs. And he is new to the world of Scrum and being a Scrum Master and all that. So we'll kind of talk about his journey a little bit. And uh, just recently certified at his PSM certification. And in this interview is not the classic one, what do you know about Scrum and in all those details, but it's really about getting to know Edwin, his journey into the Scrum world. So, hey, Edwin, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Well, good afternoon. Good. good morning for you, afternoon for me. Good morning so we're for like you. we're all across the planet here, so that's cool. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, what do you do outside of the office? Um, so, uh, I'm actually originally from the Netherlands. Um, as a young kid, I was always wanting to explore new things and connect with people. Um, seven years ago, <clears throat> I'm saying, um, I'm come from the Netherlands. Um, as a young kid, I always wanted to explore new things, new areas, uh, and looking to connect with people. Uh, seven years ago, uh, I went to New Zealand and um, saw a lot of opportunities to grab on, and I try to connect with business and business owners and from there on um, I got myself a scrum, um, got into a scrum position. Cool. Um, what's that in the background? Is that, what, what's oh, this, this, you got the virtual is, uh, background, is that New Zealand? This is New Zealand, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. All right. Um, so talk about your experience as a scrum master. I mean, how'd you find your way to be a scrum master? What was your journey into getting to this point? Um, how'd you decide so, to become a scrum master? What, what, what made you do this? What made you take the leap? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, there's a few because I was always talking to uh, different business owners, I always wanted to to um, to know more about techniques and how to improve the way of working. Um, I got myself really in a good position that I had a meeting with a scrum master, uh, a real scrum master, and uh, I, I I asked him questions about. Uh, uh, what what the days look like, uh, what you're doing, and he gave me these great answers and helped me really a lot. That made me think about like, hey, uh, this is actually something that I've been always working on in, in the past and I always wanted to improve myself and others. Um, and since then, I, I'm listening to, since that day, I was listening to podcasts, going to meetups and starting to learn uh, the, the Scrum Guide. Um, and learn new material, uh, and I really got myself immersed in Scrum because I think that's been it's been in my blood, and I've been working on uh, same like techniques uh, in my day to day life. Cool, cool. Um, you mentioned in your uh, your LinkedIn profile because I always go look at LinkedIn profiles, see what everybody's up to. You're currently getting involved in the 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 Oakland Agile community. Can you tell us about that? What do you What do you do when you get involved in that? So uh, what I'm saying, when I had my first meeting with the Scrum Master, um, I I was so excited that I wanted to learn everything about Scrum. So I looked at meetups, and I found the uh, Oakland Agile community. Uh, and since since that meeting with that Scrum Master, that he encouraged me to be to be uh, uh, he said, like, you could be a good scrum master. And that, from that point, I thought, like, yes, I could be. And I just keep, keep on learning every day. Since then, I've been uh, going to every every meeting and workshop. Okay. Um, I'm connected with heaps of uh, uh, scrum masters, agile coaches here in uh, Auckland and stay in touch with them, uh, have uh, coffees on, on, a, on a monthly basis with different different coaches, uh, scrum masters, I keep in touch with them and going to conference together, Zoom calls, you name it. Uh, and 
it's really great. It's a really great space. They they are really friendly and open and help you to to learn more. Uh, and since then, I've been yeah, since that day, I've been active uh, in the community. Didn't you just tell me just recently you just uh, hosted a Lean Coffee online as one of your first ones? How'd that go? That's that's true. Yeah, um, we normally we have every Friday we have uh, something special we call coming together and play games uh, because there was nothing organized this this uh, last Friday. I uh, I approached the the uh, the facilitator. It's like, hey, uh, there's nothing uh, organized, and uh, we came together. It's like, hey, uh, do you want to organize something? Uh, and I say, yes, I want to because I always wanted to do a lean coffee. I've been preparing for a few weeks to to uh, organize his link coffee, and um, so um, he gave me the the login details. We did it over Zoom, uh, and um, it was it was a really great experience. We got great feedback from other people as well, and it was a smooth session, and it was a really friendly and fun uh, space where we could share ideas. Sounds like sounds like. Sounds like a great thing for someone getting into Scrum, going out there and actually doing it. You know, what would you say to somebody who has never done it before? Should they just go out and try it? Should they offer? What What are you What are your thoughts on getting through that barrier? Well, I think I think uh, first to go to a lean coffee yourself because I've been okay. to before. I've been to a lean coffee to see okay. what is go and how um, uh, how you can uh, what's the ideas uh, behind it. The link copy, um, and if, if there's something for you to do, I think yeah, it's a really be really great um, uh, tool to to get more experience about facilitating and also keeping uh, events in the time box because it's uh, you have these post-it notes, uh, you have two minutes to write it down, and as a facilitator, you just have to uh, facilitate with with the whole team. So like, okay, the time is finished. We're gonna do this now. We put it in order. You're gonna have the topic right now, and five minutes is over. We have to stop next session. So um, I, th I think it's really great uh, uh, as a start for Scrum Master to um, to do this kind of uh, events. Okay. Well, it sounds like you had lots of fun. Okay. So here's here's one of the technique geeky questions, right? So what is the role of a Scrum Master in their company? What do you see? what you read, what you're doing, how do you see, and you just mentioned something about you're going to be doing something sh um, shortly with your company that you work for now. Can you kind of talk about that a little bit? Uh, what the roles of a Scrum Master in a company? Yeah. Well, first as a Scrum Master is we want to create successful teams, right? Yeah. Uh, and you want our, the team to be self-organizing and uh, cross-functional everybody's talking to to each other uh, and you want the team to succeed um, every sprint there is a there is a, we will make with the team a sprinkle what is really important to to uh, um, the sprinkle to um, to succeed the, the product mm -hmm. and um, uh, as a company you're you're being together to, to find out what works works well. In the end of the sprint, you reflect back um, how we're working together. Um, and this is this is great for the team to grow. How do you, but how do you see and that's the, that's the, I guess that's the team type where you are in a company. But did you just finish telling me a story earlier about what your company asked you to do as a scrum master now and that and that what what are you going to be doing shortly with your your company oh yeah, yeah sorry but <laughs> you asked me that question um what was um great about it um i am gonna shortly i'm gonna have a, a really talk because we are all we it's COVID 19 here um and we are, are working from home i'm gonna have a talk with the whole company about what is Scrum, uh, how we can Im improve, uh, how we can make Scrum work in our organization uh, and techniques that we can use. Um, and I let everybody know what is, is Scrum. It's a short, short TED talk 
presentation that I can uh, show people uh, what Scrum is, uh, how how we can improve it in their team, and um, and make make them aware um, what they can do. So you're saying like Scrum masters have an internal where, world and also an external world where they're ex sharing Scrum with other people throughout the company, right? And that's that's kind of what you're going to be doing shortly. Yeah. You yeah. But you didn't think you were going to do that that quick, did you? That was great, though. It's awesome. Well, th there was an opportunity, and um, and I just um, and I thought it would be a great way uh, as a Scrum master for me to yeah. to uh, to to show people what is possible in the company, yeah. but also for other people to to show what is also possible for great. them to to grow. Well, that's awesome. Um, what strategies would you recommend on facilitating a team? Is there any strategies that you have that you use to facilitate? Maybe one of your events you facilitated, maybe a retrospective, daily scrum. Just give us one little thing that you think is a great technique for facilitating teams. Well, I was just, I was just thinking um, because with new scrum master, when you start, you're starting with with a new team. It could be like an existing team. Uh, and anyway, if you if you're starting with a new job, you're always starting with a with a team. Maybe they've been working together for a long time. Let's let's pretend they're we're not. They don't know what Scrum is, and you're a freshly Scrum master and we a uh, freshly team. Um, it, it's good to observe the first spring how people are working together. Okay. Um, and making notes uh, and not to be interfere with with the team if it's a high performance team you you want them to be high, high performance and not just disrupt the the whole system that you'd be already working in okay and you will not i think you'll not be popular if you want to make changes straight away um the idea is to go next spring next spring slowly starting implementing ideas slowly starting to make changes uh and just build the trust in that team Building, um, building so, the trust, yeah. Yeah, building the trust so you can guide the team and people will trust you and it will be more likely to 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 improve the team and they're more morely wanting to listen to you what you have to say and they will come to you uh, if they have a problem okay. instead of keeping it keeping them for themselves. And what okay. what I also think uh, strategy is really important uh, in a scrum team to have a really clear sprint goal for the sprint uh -huh. um if you don't have a really clear sprint goal the motivation i think will be going down especially uh in a retrospective because you have nothing to there <laughs> what we're doing and some people some people in a retrospective are thinking then like okay uh why are we doing retrospective i mean because you don't have a clear sprint goal okay. i think that's really important that's a that's a really good uh, thought process. I really like that idea. Is that having that clearance? What are you doing in retrospective? How we do, you know, and you're reflecting back on the sprint goal and doing that full circle on and why you're there. So that's that's an awesome thought process. Is that is that how you, you know, um, on another item? What are the keys to motivating an agile team? I think you mentioned something about trust, but what what has been your favorite technique to motivate your team as of late? Um, icebreakers. <laughs> icebreakers. No, just just make um, make it just a light way and fun. And what I found out, like if you're if you're too serious about something, then um, people will not really be motivated. If you just make it a, just a little bit light, hey, you guys are gonna do this, this, and this, um, and, and make it fun uh, as a whole whole, whole team. For okay. example, uh, fun retros. There's a there's a side with fun retros, and it's got some really good examples. Make everybody pretty happy. Uh, and what what I, what I was saying before, like you have to get a clear sprint goal. Everybody should be knowing what work they're all gonna doing to the end of this uh, sprint. Excellent. Awesome. Um. Okay. So we all have these bad days, and in the coronavirus days, every, we're, you know, everybody's up and down. 
How do you overcome those bad days? Is there something that you do as a scrum master to get you up? I got to work with this team, got a tough team, whatever it is. How do you get yourself pumped up to take on those bad days? Or how do you handle posts? Either way, you could either prep before or or post, right? Bad days for the team that the team is for you. Bad, or for is you, no, no, no. I have bad days. We uh, want your bad days. We want to know how you, as a person, handle those bad days. What do you do? Right? Easy to smile. It's always I'm always smiling. Smile. People don't know. People don't know that I have a bad day, but uh, of course, like sometimes um, things happen in personal life uh, that it, it's a little bit um, uh, down or uh, something happened. Um, what I always, I'm, I'm a pretty positive person and I always think like, uh, there's a really book, uh, was called, um, the obstacles, the way from Ryan holiday. Okay. And, and that shows like the, the obstacle is there to, to teach you a, a lesson. And, um, there's also a great phrase there is that this too shall pass. So with the, uh, for example, COVID-19, this also will will go away. Just give it a few minutes, give it a few days, and then you can um, you can start working um, on the things that we're doing. Um, sometimes, if if I do something and I I I don't know what to do anymore, I stop stop what I'm doing. I will go out to to have a walk for a few minutes or do some other work to distract myself. And then I come back to the same problem, and most of the times uh, I will be more motivated and see it from different uh, uh, perspective. And because we, we are a scrum team, um, it's really uh, good to communicate uh, with each other to see how we, how we how we feel if I have a bad day. Uh, I will let the team know, like, hey, you guys, I'm not, I'm not feeling so good, and then we can talk about it and can have feedback from other people maybe to to help each other out what that's, the problems are. that's a great way to take it saying how hey, you don't have a bad day and express that and share that with the team i don't know a lot of people don't do that so that's that's a great way of doing it so they can know where you're coming from definitely yeah, this is the scrum, the scrum values to be open about um about but but the work and uh, what you're doing yeah no no awesome um okay Tell us about an interaction that made you happy, like a team interaction that you saw that just excited you and said, this is why I want to be a scrum master, right? So give us something that, that talks to that. I really like when people communicating with each other and try to fix uh, hard problems and come with the whole team is going to interacting with each other, giving inputs. Um, that makes me really happy. We had recently, we were, well, recently, a few months ago, before COVID-19, uh, we had um, we we came as a group together and we reduced doing some brainstorming of about how 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 can we tackle this problem, how we can improve this problem, and everybody got really valuable in, input. And I think we all were aligned, uh, and we all were really. Uh, focusing on that moment and I really felt like this little buzz going like that everybody was like exciting and ready to take on the work and that makes me pretty happy because I know um, we're going to see some improvement as, as a team. Awesome. Okay. So we got a couple more questions. We make sure we keep this in a nice half hour bit. That's like, so it's not too long, but we're going to do okay. some good stuff. Um, <laughs> What is your favorite scrum ceremony and why? All right. Um, that is a, a retrospective. A retrospective, okay. Yeah, the retrospective. Um, I like the retrospective. Um, I had to a, a, a think of, about it. Like um, a lot of scrum messages at Daily Scrum, but um, I like the retrospective because it is longer. It, you have longer than 50 minutes, you know, you have a um for for uh for months for instance that you get three hours maximum but you can make it short of course uh, but you have longer the time to inspect not only the work but inspect the team what they've been doing and and i think it's really you can be doing things at a really uh um 
he can do it. Um, how do you say it? It's, it's good to inspect the team. So what you've been doing in, in the past maybe is not the right way to do it or we can improve the, the way. So okay. that's um, that's what I like. And it's it's a great way to as a team to come together and uh, to, to make it a whole fun place and uh, work on each other to create, to create more trust with each other. Um, work together as a more more team and come with the great ideas to 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 improve the company and, and the team yeah i like retrospectives those have been my favorite it's one of my ones where i had teams that would ask me hey greg when we're doing the next retrospective they got they loved it so much we had so much fun um yeah you told me before that you had to introduce agile and scrum to your company so it was like it wasn't there and you kind of getting it in there for your, your group that you're at. How did you go about introducing it into your group where someplace it wasn't there before? So this is a real organic growth of bringing Scrum into your into your group. How did you do that? Yeah, uh, when I started getting to Scrum, I was learning about this uh, the product backlog and um, – and the spring backlog and I started to implement it for myself first to see how, how it goes. So I had like tasks to do and I make my own product backlog, uh, uh, make the in stickies. I had some stickies and put it on the wall, the things that I wanted to do. And I thought well, it's, it, uh, by doing it for a few days or uh, a few weeks and I noticed that there was a lot of change and a lot of improvement. And I thought like, hey, can I, not scale this into to my team because I can have it for myself. What's the what's the thing I was thinking? What's the thing I can improve about this? Because we we had we had like a sort of backlog, but we're not really using it. So um, I was going to the manager at that time and said like, hey, um, I know we're coming together once once or twice a week. Uh, can I facilitate uh, a, a, like a daily stand up, daily scrum? Um, to uh, to make this uh, back backlog as a as a team, and he said yes. So I was really happy about that opportunity. Okay. Um, the first first thing I did, I um, I, w- I was pretty excited, and I said to the team like, hey, uh, I explained what Scrum is, what the daily standard, and why we're doing this. Um, and it it was success. I I, I mean. It, it's, it takes a while for our team to understand what, what we're doing and why we're doing it. At first, I had to appoint people to, to speak. But uh, as a later, the team knows what expected from themselves, that they are self-organizing a little bit. And I don't have to appoint uh, anymore. anymore. I just come there at the same time, same place. It's like, hey, uh, OK, well, let's, let's catch up together. And people started to talk automatically about what they're working on, uh, how they be, uh, if there's any problems, and, and people interact with each other. And that's really great to see. So it sounds like you, you kind of started it, got them going, led them to it, and then they kind of latched onto it, and, and, and everything is going pretty good. But you, I mean, I, I, I'm impressed that you actually took the initiative to, like, bring this up to your boss. There's so many people that think about it, don't do it, but – they, but you took the initiative. I mean, how, how did that feel? Was there, were you worried about taking that initiative? What was going through your mind when you actually, what was going, come on, you're crazy, man. I'm telling you, you're a crazy guy. Cause, cause most people won't bring things up like this, your boss. So what was going through your mind when you did that? I was actually, uh, I was thinking like, um, I had all these failure things. Like they never going to say yes. Um, the company never is going to be implementing Scrum in 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 in, in the way or Scrum. Uh, 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 I had like a pretty negative mindset, but I was stuck at that at moment. I learned so much about Scrum and to see how how Scrum can improve a company that I actually had to <laughs> say this to the uh, manager. And of course, I will help of you, uh, Greg. Uh, you give me courage as well to to actually stand up and implement these techniques that I'm trying to learn and try to um, show other people how, how to improve uh, themselves and the team. So, you, so it's good having a coach, right? 
it's really great. Thank you. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, you know, you can coach someone all you want, but it's up to them to actually make that call. Just like in a scrum team, you know, they yeah. own it. And that's the biggest thing. What I find is one of the biggest hurdles, and and you did an awesome job of, of taking that on, and, and I think you're going to go far. We can already tell you're already going to teach your whole company about Scrum. Yeah. I mean, I mean that's revolutionary, right? Um, okay. So continuous learning. So I was chatting someone with LinkedIn earlier today, and we we're talking about uh, learning and being a continuous learner, and it's really important because you're asking your team to be continuous learner, right? Yeah. So what? Give us a couple things, books, podcasts, whatever you've been listening to that 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 help you learn and and get to where you're at in this being a scrum master. I'm I'm pretty pretty excited about this because uh um because people will listen to your book as they always I I think probably want to get to be a scrum master or getting into the scrum master job just like myself. Um, it's really good. Uh, to connect with the community. Um, um, I I um, starting to read books. I have like a whole list of Scrum books that uh, I still need to, to read, but I started with uh, the book Sprint. And that was a really great uh, book for me. Um, also, uh, I, I got some online training. There's plenty of, of uh, online uh, training uh, methods. Can I can I mention one? Or yeah, go it? for it. Yeah, we just, we hold nothing back because okay, anybody okay. can use it and share it. So go for it. Yeah, I'm I'm using uh, Pluralsight at the moment, and there are some great material there in the retrospective of formats and techniques that you can use. So um, it, it's 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 really great to to use. Uh, also, uh, I read everything what was on Scrum.org. Um, you can I, you can use IT Azure, but I'm, I'm using Scrum, uh, Scrum.org. I'm reading blogs. There's a uh, um, there's videos out there. There's heaps of material. There's uh, the of course the Scrum Guide. I've been reading the Scrum Guide all over again for 25 times, almost every day. Okay. <laughs> reading the Scrum Guide just to understand because I remember the first time when I read the Scrum Guide, I thought like what is this i didn't understand anything but because of getting experience of reading books listening to podcasts using youtube um and talking to people i got i've got an understanding of what's actually what is in the scrum guide so that's really cool because you're you're you you made a real interesting connection between reading the scrum guide and not quite getting it but then when you interact, go to meetings, you talk to people, yeah. you go to events that you kind of put, oh, so that, is, you know, did you have light bulbs going off in your head going, hey, oh, now yeah. I get what that part was all about. Exactly. I didn't really understand the, the, the product backlog and how the team interacts with the user stories and stuff. I was like, oh, this is, I, I, I was like, okay. I didn't understand, but after reading it, reading it, and actually doing it uh, myself, I got to the understanding, okay, that's why you have to uh, use the stories. I have to make it more clear for everybody. So it's also clear for yourself what you actually want to work on and what you're doing. It is, uh, was really, really helpful. Cool. All right. So here's the last question. All right. This I saw on a, a video out of India. I loved okay. it. Was it like a job interview question? And I, I just, I just, I ask all the time now. It's like I stole it, right? It was one yeah. I did like it and commented it on LinkedIn and sure. Um, so the question all was, right. what is not in your LinkedIn profile? What is not in your resume? So if someone's going to ask you about who you are, what you are, and we already know about where you're from, but so you got to tell us something that's not in your resume that makes you who you are. That means what's not in there is um, all my experience as a freelancer. So I've been working in the Netherlands for a few companies. I've been uh, for different industries. I've been working in Australia for five companies. I was working in New Zealand as a freelancer for all different kinds of companies. That's not in my city. So I've got all these 
wide variety of a variety of experience in, uh, in, in coffee factories, TV, uh, TV companies, radio stations, um, uh, entertainment companies, um, uh, you, you name it. It's it's uh, the all working for all different companies, and they're all working together as a team. And so, and it's it's really great to get the experience. People working differently, but uh, um, I got all these is the good things from, from each company uh, I make it made it in, in my list to, to do and I got it as experience so I can uh, explain to other people like how how to not run to your business that's great that's great good to know it sounds like you've been all over and you, you explored the world so you you bring yeah. all that to your teams and it, you, when they say what do you do and uh, you yeah, can share it out with them great, you get a great uh, perspective from every angle yeah. and it's it's good to have it's good to have yeah yeah great excellent so with that we want to thank you for showing up on 5 a.m master scrum and doing this interview and sharing i think a lot of people who are new scrum masters are going to love this interview it's going to show them um, how things are going and where they can go and how to get there because you know they always hear from these people that have been doing it for 20 years and i've been doing this and i'm an expert and i and i and i and i, and I think this will be really great and i think it'll be really helpful so i want yeah. to thank you for sharing with us all and, thank, uh, thank you for uh, uh, want to thank you as well, uh, Greg, for uh, coaching me. And um, there's there's a few things that I, I want to say that really helped me, um, especially when you said like just implement these things in your work. When you were saying that, uh, I started to do it, and and yeah, it really improved me. And when you were saying put everything in small uh, blocks, mm -hmm. and that really helped me um, because I, I wanted to. I want to do actually when I was reading Scrum, I want to be a Scrum Master next month. Yeah. And you, you said, like, give yourself the time, put it in small little sprints. Every sprint, you learn something new. And I was doing that and I saw the result of that. And thank you for that. For You're welcome. Teaching me that. I'm glad it worked. Yeah, so. You never know. You know, <laughs> you be, you, it's like you, until you try it, you never know. So I'm really like, glad it was helpful to you. And uh, we'll see you again soon. All right. Thumbs up. Definitely. Great awesome. scene in the background. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe to 5 a.m. Message Scrum. Right. That's it. We should yeah, add because, that. Because actually there is a lot of uh, every every day you got different uh, different things with you with you're saying, and it's really it's been useful for me and I'm learning every day something. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll have to do a promo. Anyway, okay. Okay, <laughs> okay that's the end of the interview.